Hey guys, we're going to take a look at this floating raft, uh, stationary raft deal again here. Uh, do a quick follow up on it. Uh, what you're looking at is the Kratky Sai, which is spelled K-R-A-T-K-Y. He's the uh, professor from the University of Hawaii who was doing this. Uh, this is the side that has no aeration, doesn't require any type of uh, air pump, water circulating pump, anything like that. Looking at this, you can see my lettuce is doing a whole lot better this time because I don't have the pak choy and the tat soy in here with them. So the water levels are not rapidly dropping and these things are all able to grow at a nice uh, steady pace and everything keep up at the same uh, growth rate. One of the questions that I got most often was in reference to algae. What type of algae buildup did you get? And on this uh, cracky side, you can see that the styrofoam actually sits on top of the lumber. So it makes a nice seal. No light can get in there. There's no algae problems whatsoever on this side. Again, you can see what I was talking about with the styrofoam actually rests on top of the frame so you don't have gaps in there where you're getting light into it. And I don't think you're gonna have any algae problems if the water's not being exposed to light. And looking up under here, you see very consistent root growth. This lettuce is doing much better than it did in the first run because I don't have those uh, overly aggressive plants on the outside sucking up all the water too fast. These things are growing nice and steady, uh, looking very good. Another question that was asked was, can you go back and top off the reservoir? And yes, you can to a certain extent, you know, a little bit at a time. But as this plant is growing and you've got these long roots right here that are absorbing the water, nutrients, and these little guys right in here start absorbing the oxygen. If you go and fill this entire reservoir back up, you basically drown the plant. So there is a way that you can kind of come back in and maintain a, you know, a minimal level in the bottom or something like that. But for the most part, what you want to do is right from the start, make sure you have the right ratio of plants to your reservoir so you don't have to worry about doing that. Now this is the side that actually floats and I went ahead and uh, turned the air pump on for just a few minutes and you can see what she looks like. I've got four of those four inch uh, cylindrical air stones in here and they seem to do a pretty good job. Being as how the plants are actually floating right on top of the water you absolutely need some aeration in this side. Now I did get a little bit of algae on the floating side. Primarily it was right in the gaps right in here where I didn't uh, get a tight seal. As you can see, I've got a little bit of play in these rafts. They're not uh, fitting up nice and snug as far as around the edges. I cut them a little bit small. You can see the spacing that I have on the end right here. So what I had done was just come back and laid a scrap piece across the end of it to block the sunlight out from it. These are the seedlings that I'm working with today. Got some more of that Adriana lettuce and some tat soil. They're growing in rock wool cubes. See, I've already got pretty good root growth coming out the bottom. I'm a little bit late getting these things in. Just break them off. Take your two inch net cup. Try to get the roots down in there if you see any exposed, get them started. And then just set this down in the hole and make sure the bottom of it's touching the water and you'll be ready to go. All right, so now I'm all done planting. I've got 20 lettuce in there and 10 tatsoi. And looking at it right here, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and you can see how shady it is. This is on my north wall. So I've got tomatoes between uh, the lettuce and the sunshine. So basically all I'm getting is whatever sun is shining between the tomato plants. So these are growing a little bit slower than what I had early on, but uh, you know, 35, 40 days, 45 days, that's still not too long for me to wait for a head of lettuce. And a real quick note, uh, tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, PrepperBroadcasting.com. That's my next radio show, Preparing to Provide. And what we're going to be talking about is specific varieties of vegetables. I started an informal survey about a week ago and asked you guys to comment, send me a PM, or I actually gave an email address. And thank you to everybody who responded. Uh, very helpful information and it was certainly a, a learning deal for me. I have made the comment that I didn't think uh, just because something grew well in Virginia, it may not grow well, you know, North Dakota or New Mexico or something like that. But uh, based on some of the, uh, the, the comments and information, uh, I may have to rethink that. Bottom line, I think a lot of it just comes down to how good the soil is. And so again, thank you to everybody for the information. 
look forward to seeing you there tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern Time, PrepperBroadcasting.com. And one more thing I want to show you real quick. A couple of weeks ago, I made a comment about possibly building an aquaponics greenhouse. And I was surprised that nobody stopped me in my tracks because that's generally not the way that I go about things. Uh, it's not what I advise people to do. What I always say, start small, do a test run, work out the kinks, make sure you've got everything figured out, then upscale it and uh, go ahead and uh, get the job done. So before I go and build another greenhouse, what I'm going to do is take my own advice went up to Chesterfield yesterday. I finally found two good, clean, food-grade IBC containers. Took the frames off of them late yesterday. Now what I need to do is get them uh, cut down, get them painted, and figure out how I'm going to get them into the greenhouse. But this is what I'm going to start with, these two right here. This will be my first aquaponics setup. Give me a chance to get my feet wet a little bit. Uh, I've seen a lot of videos of other people who have done this. Uh, one of them, uh, B and Bob. My buddy Rob down in Australia, he's got a nice little IBC set up in his backyard. I'll go back and watch some of his videos and a lot of the others too and pick out the pieces that I like and put together something that uh, I think will suit my purpose. And then if all goes well over the next three or four months and I get real comfortable with this, then it will make sense for me to go ahead and uh, maybe build another greenhouse, upscale it, and just go crazy with this stuff. We'll see what happens. So uh, y'all take care and Lord willing. I'll see you next time.